Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's five o'clock. It's um, Tuesday afternoon. It's January 16th. And I just uh, spent the uh, spent an hour or so cleaning our Mustang up. So I was gonna give you a quick update on the Mustang and then we'll uh, back it on the lift, put a tender on it, and then we'll be done for the day. All right, well, this is our 2007 uh, Mustang GT500. It's a Shelby. It's an original, it's got about 12,000 miles on it. So uh, 10 years, 11 years, 12,000 miles, pretty good with that. Um, it's got the Shelby, uh, Carroll Shelby Motors uh, VIN number on it. It's got Carroll Shelby signature in a couple places. So this is a car that was manufactured while he was still alive and he had some participation in them as they rolled off the line over it. I believe it's Las Vegas. It's rated at about 840 horse. It is a dangerous animal, just like most of them in the garage. So taking it out in a 30 degree weather, these tires are very, very um, hard and very slick. So took it out for a little bit this afternoon, but I just didn't want to bring a camera with me. I needed to focus on learning how to drive this thing. So 700 horse Hellcat is one thing, 840 horse. Uh, Super Snake GT500 is just something that's totally different so it's loose it breaks loose very easily <clears throat> kind of dangerous to focus on anything else so I thought I'd show you the engine and the interior and then we'll fire it up and then we'll put it away so I did this a month ago or so but I just thought I'd show you some of the badging almost all the caps in here are badged show you walk you around show you all of these it's got a nice intake on it it's got a huge Ken Bell supercharger on it you can see Carol Shelby's signature on the blower see these name plates even the oil dipstick is uh, badged. It's just an amazing automobile. It's just uh, part of American history. That's pretty much why we own it. So I had done it the disservice, the disrespect of storing it outside during the fall months while we waited for this project to get completed. So it was filthy. So I feel pretty proud of how it looks now though. So I did a waterless wash and then a sealant on her. It's hard to see the badging through the lens here, the Shelby badge. I'll take you inside for a minute. Not um, so 10, 11 years ago, they didn't quite badge them the way they do now. It's not quite as fancy as they are. I love the upholstery on the seats though. Even on the console. And on the passenger seat headrest as well. I think the floor mats are custom. The dash gauges are customized. And then the last thing is, right in the dead center is your, uh, another nameplate. It gives you your uh, Carol Shelby Motors uh, VIN number and his signature again, kind of proving to you that it's not a Franken car. There's not someone who has bought the pieces and tried to do it themselves. So it's actually a, it's a numbered Shelby. That's part of the reason I bought it. All right, I want to show you guys we're starting it.
Tender hooked up. Take from the battery leads. And uh, I use CTEX. So that CTEX 25,000. It's a pretty expensive unit. They're about 200, 210 dollars, but they do a wonderful job. I had great luck with them. Since we have the clearance space, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the uh, leave the hood up. It's better for clearance on those battery leads. So that's it, tenders on, to bed it goes. Just wanna finish up tonight's video and uh, show you the garage. I haven't done a garage update in a while and there's a lot of new uh, subscribers out there. So the first thing I'll show you is uh, the track hawk is back. And got the Camaro back in, got the Mustang up there. It's got our tender on. Hellcat's backed in and only the Jeep is facing the wrong way now somebody suggested starting to learn to back all these in it was a great idea so I've done that I now back in every time eventually I'll get the Hellcat out of here and get that Jeep turned around Think so to see I get this a little tight right here but there's plenty of workroom over here so for cleaning and stuff there's plenty of workroom and then the work lift easy to get in and out of plenty of space so Viper is ready. Viper will go here. Jeep will eventually go outside. Demon is inbound in the next few weeks. Demon for now will sit here. We'll see. So through that wall will be our second unit. We, um, we went ahead and told the landlord and the leasing agent that we'll take that other second unit. And I think what we'll do We'll get the walls painted, we'll get the floor done, just like we have here, and we'll get two more storage lifts. That'll get us a nice eight storage space with lots of workspace. So, that's really it. I'm not sure what else to tell you about the garage. Um, the last thing I'll do is give you a close up on the damage on the track hawk. So this is the damage side. I think you can see that it's perfect. I mean, given the reflection, it's kind of easy to tell. So we'll walk you back and forth. No dents, no dings, no paint issues. They did a nice job. So that's really it. So a little garage update, a little track hawk update, a little Shelby update. Not bad. All right, everybody, have a good night.